Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with a mixed media tutorial for craft tangles. And what I have here is these decorative MDF bases. Now, <clears throat> now technically they are coasters, but I'd like to use them for something different. First, when I looked at them, I thought they would make such great ATC coins. And now what I have in mind is a multi-purpose project wherein they serve to be artist trading coins when just thought of them as that but I'd also like to use them as tea light candle holder bases for the festivities. So today I'm going to be altering these and creating this project. Now first up what I need to do is prime my surface and for that I'm going to be using the craft angles white gesso and give a nice coat to it. Now for my next layer, I would like to use the bubble background stencil and add some sand texture paste. Now time to add some color. So I'm going with the color palette of a coral and a green to bring in my green and just make it a nice little festive adding hints of darker uh, blush tone or pink a little later. So I'm using my Lindy's Magicals and all I'm going to do is sprinkle them, mist them with water and let the color flow. So that's a look at the bases complete with that color and shine. Now for my focal, I would like to create my own embellishment. And for that, I'm just going to use the Craft Angles Mandala Reloaded Stencil here and just apply some 3D matte gel through the stencil and sprinkle embossing powder. So that will give me a raised effect and a nice custom embellishment that I can use to layer on my bases. So that's a look at my custom embellishment and you can see how cool and stunning it looks so this is another way of just using your stencils and making the most of them to create elements that can be used for layering now before i glue down my elements which is basically going to be my mandala and some flowers and leaves i would like to bring in some black with some background stamping Now, just to further enhance them, I'm going to use some Distress Ink Vintage Photo here and just distress the edges. That will give it a nice border, but also a good edging and shadow, which will really make my entire base pop up even more. So 
so you can see the difference the one without the edging and inking and the one with this tiny little detail really adds that wow factor to projects and now all i'm going to do is use all of these flowers leaves and everything and create my focal element use some foam tape for dimension and just glue those down in place So that's a look at my completed, call them ATCs or tea light holders. I have just added some more sparkle and glitter using the craft angles acrylic soft gloss gel to glue them down in place. And I'm just going to lift it up to show you a close up. So that's a look at my vibrant, festive, yet subtle creation. I quite like them because they have a nice elegant vibe to them and I love particularly how the green pops up through that coral. So for my tea lights all I need to do is add my candles and that's it. That would make it a good decorative piece to place on a side table or anywhere really. I do hope that you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Do hit the thumbs up and like the video to let us know. And of course, like I always say, do leave your comments below because they really motivate and encourage me to continue creating and inspiring you all. Until the next time, take care and bye-bye.